Greetings, gents. I'm Geo Fat Boy for ShaveNation.com. Welcome to Geo Fat Boy's Everyday Shave, episode 22. Today's razor will be the Rockwell 6S. It comes in this beautiful case right here, perfect for gift giving. Let's open it up and have a look. Instruction sheet right here, both sides, tells you what's happening with the razor, how to use it. We're going to do that as well. But isn't a video better than a picture or instructions? It sure is. <laughs> There's a fitted foam cover to hold everything in place. It still will bounce around in the box. This is not super fitted, you know, they can flop around. Sometimes they come sideways like that. Don't be too upset if that happens. So it comes with the razor and three of these plates. This is called an adjustable razor, but I like to call it more a flippable razor because it is adjustable, but you're not turning a dial or anything like that. You're swapping out the plates and that will make the adjustment in the blade gap and give you less or more aggressive shave. So let's take the razor out. I'll remove all the plates as well. Try not to drop them on the floor. It also comes with a five pack of Rockwell blades right there. Set the case off to the side. Let's disassemble it real quick just so I can see what plate is in there. So it's the R1, R3 plate. So you got three plates, R1, R3. You have R2, R4, and then you have R5, R6. R5 and 6, most aggressive. R1 and 3, least aggressive. R2 and 4, moderate, medium. The way I'm going to shave with the razor, I will start off with the number 6 plate and work my way down to the medium plate and then the mild plate. Here's what it looks like fully assembled. This one is a beautiful blue. It comes in black, red, blue, and silver, all those different colors. And this is 316L stainless steel coated. So you don't have to worry about rust. It's got a nice heft to it. This razor feels really good in the hand and it's super easy to grip. This knurling on the handle, very checkered, very comfortable to hold on to. At the top, you can just see it's all blue. On the bottom, all you can see is the R6 right there, the bottom number of the plate. That bottom number that you see, that's what you're shaving with. So keep that in mind when you switch your plates out. And then it tapers out, top of the handle, starts out thin, goes thick, and then you have that really pronounced checkered knurling right here, which is very easy to grip. Then a smooth band and two more rings that match the knurling on the handle here, right at the bottom, with a smooth ring in the middle. The very bottom, smooth as well. Let's disassemble, it's a three-piece razor. Since it comes with a package of Rockwell blades, let's use a Rockwell blade. See how that works out. It says on the paper, Rockwell razors, Swedish stainless steel, double-edged blade. So Swedish steel. Let's open it up. It is double wrapped, two layers of paper. Got through one, get through the other one. No glue on the blade, which is nice. Here's a look at the blade. Let's check it out. Rockwell razors, Swedish stainless steel, right there. Let's insert that over the post and the two pins. The blade goes on either way, that doesn't matter. And then, as I said, I'll start with the R6, so the R6 will be facing down towards the handle. Reinstall the handle. Lock it down, you're ready to rock and roll with your shave. It's very easy to see the blade reveal because you have that nice contrast of the blue against the silver of the blade. So it's very easy to see it. And you do have just a slight 1 16th of an inch or so, a couple millimeters overhang right there. You can barely see it. Right there you can see it on both ends. Just a little bit of overhang. Feels great in the hand. I'll perform a shave with this razor. The shaving cream I'll use today, Captain's Choice Eucalyptus Shaving Cream. This is new, just arrived a short while ago. See how it is there? You can see how it's fallen over to one side. The consistency, the shaving cream, it's all laying over to one side. That's very normal. The jar is a little bit larger, so the shaving cream can shift around. There's nothing wrong with that. When you open it, don't flip out. That happens. It's normal. I'll warm up my Shave Nation bowl, and we'll mix up a lather. 
Got my little baby scoop spoon right here. I'm gonna scoop out a little bit of this eucalyptus. Very soft, right there, just filling up the spoon. Dropping that into the lather spot down at the bottom of the bowl. Just like that. That's what it looks like right there. Today's brush that I'll use is the Simpsons Chubby 2. Here's a look at it. It's a badger brush. There's a one, two, and three. This is the medium. So the one is smaller, the three is even larger. And these are great brushes. Look at how thick and tight and dense that knot is. Really a nice lather monster of a brush. I'll soak it under the hot water. Just give it a couple shakes to remove the bulk of the water. Go right into the bowl, see if we can mix a lather. Just press those tips down into the lather spot. And this is a pretty good sized brush. Let's add a little bit of water. I think I might need to add a little shaving cream too. The cream comes up. Yeah, I'm gonna add a little bit. Let me add, because a lot was stuck on my finger, got lost out. I'm gonna add that much to the bottom. Just added a little bit more to the bottom there. Swirl that. And water. There we go, now it starts coming up around the edges. Wonderful smell of eucalyptus. It's not super strong. It's not a eucalyptus that makes your eyes water. This is more of a sedate, mild, calm eucalyptus. You just get the scent, but it's not super strong. There we go. Now we've got the lather coming up. Just scoop it up. You can see it's a nice big brush, lots of lather. Plenty for a couple passes. I'll warm up my face, we'll get right to the shave. All right, my face is good and warm. Let's grab our brush, our bowl. Let's lather up. There we go. It's a nice big knot on this brush. It holds a lot of lather. Swirling, dabbing, painting. Drive it into the beard. The zen moment of the shave right here. Go figure eight, smooth everything out, set the brush down. Swipe, swipe. Clear the runway so we can see our sideburns. All right, here we go, wet fingers and all. Rockwell 6S with the Rockwell blade. And we are using the six plate, which is the R6, which is the most aggressive. Right there. Tempered under the hot water. I'll start on the right side. First pass with the grain. This is the most aggressive setting for this razor. No problem removing this beard. Couple days beard growth. Flip it, one side is filled. Work your way down. Rinse that. Other side. It's a hefty razor. Just the weight of the razor on the skin does the job. Clean the cleft. Flip it. Lots of stubble on there.
Very nice. Both sides are filled. Rinse it off. Rinses out very easily, no problem. Let's go under the nose. Fits under the nose easily. The head slopes down, fits right in there. Beautiful. Rinse that. Okay, first pass complete. Do a quick rinse and feel around. If you're smooth enough, you could stop right here. But we're gonna go another pass. So, I will remove this plate. Take it out right there. I'll go with R3 plate showing right there, R3 for the next pass. Set that down. We'll relather real quick for the second pass. Just a light coating this time and it feels nice and cool, the eucalyptus with the bulk of the beardage being removed. Feels great. Little figure eight. Set the brush down. Swipe. Swipe. Clear the runways again. All right, first pass with the grain. Now we're going with the three plate, which is the medium plate. As I said before, right there. Across the grain. Less audible feedback, less aggressive. You can feel the difference. Backhand. Rinse that. Against the grain on the neck. Rinse. Across under the mustache. Very good. Okay, second pass complete. Rinse the razor. Rinse the face. Again, if you're smooth enough, stop right here. But I'll show you how to do the third pass. Let's remove the handle, switch the plate out for the final pass. Take off this one. Now we'll go with the one two plate and we'll go with the one exposed. Here's the R1 exposed right there to the bottom. So that's the one you're shaving with. This is the mildest plate of all of them. Quick relather. We'll hit those cheeks, we'll get them baby smooth. Here we go. Against the grain, you don't want to scrape, but you want to skim, the skim coat. Very mild. Excellent. Other side. Baby smooth right there. Very nice. Okay, let's rinse. Final rinse on the razor, cold water rinse on the face. Excellent shave. Nice and smooth. Check it out. Cheeks, mustache, chin, neck, everything baby smooth. Let's take our Shave Nation Wide Stick Allen Block, remove the cap, just glide that over all the areas you've shaved. This will seal off any nicks or weepers if you got any. Excellent finish to the shave right here. Feels like a nice cold ice cube on the skin. It's an astringent, so you may get a little bit of stinging. Recap that, set it off to the side. Let that soak into your skin for about 30 seconds and then rinse it off. Pat the face dry.
All right, we have the Captain's Choice Eucalyptus Shaving Cream. We will go with the Captain's Choice Eucalyptus Aftershave. Woo! Man down, lost the cap. Let's squirt some out here. Same scent, exactly the same scent from shaving cream to aftershave. Little bit of a sting, not too much. Dries easily. Let's cool off a little bit. It always feels good to finish your shave like this. Let that dry, just like they do in the barber shop sometimes. All right, excellent. Let's take a final look at the razor, the Rockwall 6S. Stainless steel, hefty razor, feels great in the hand, just long enough where it can reach down into the palm and spin. And with the stainless steel, you don't have to worry about rust. Should last you a very long time. Also, it has a, a lifetime warranty through Rockwell as well. And we use the Rockwell blade. I can't give this an aggression rating because, you know, we flip the plates out. Quite aggressive on the 5-6 plate, and then medium on the 3-4 plate, and then mild on the 1-2 plate. So you can use it the way I did. You can go to the most aggressive, medium, and then mild. Or you can just choose the mild and use it all the time. Choose the medium, use it all the time. Choose the aggressive, use it all the time. So I recommend trying out all the plates and see what works best for you. So you do have the versatility that you can go aggressive one day, you can go medium the next day, you can go mild another day. So depending on what your beard growth is like, you flip out the plates and match the plates to suit your beard and get a great shave that way. Now available in blue, red, and satin silver. Double-edged safety razors are the modern gentleman's preferred way to shave. The personal adjustability of the Rockwell 6S allows you to adjust the razor to perfectly suit your skin, facial hair, and shaving soap, ensuring a close, smooth, and comfortable shave every time. Made of stainless steel, the Rockwell 6S not only looks elegant, but it's hefty enough to ensure easy maneuvering and durable enough to survive a drop on the floor. This is the newest, most recent version of the Rockwell 6S. Includes the following all stainless steel components in matte satin finish. Heavy duty handle with knurled grip, three reversible base plates providing sizes one, two, three, four, five, and six. Three plates included R1, R3, mild, R2, R4, medium, R5, R6, aggressive, and a five pack of Rockwell double edge razor blades. Blade gaps are below. Approximate dimensions, Rockwell 6S, weight 4.2 ounces, 120 grams, length 3.7 inches, or 95 millimeters. You can also get the matching stand, the solo stand right here, that doesn't take up much room on your sink top. You drop the razor in there, and it looks great right there. It's a nice addition to any shave den. It's a sharp looking setup right there. If you buy the red, you can get the red stand, silver, silver stand, black, black stand. Those are sold separately. The razor comes in a hard foam fitted box, perfect for gift giving. Proudly crafted with 316L stainless steel. Choose your color from the drop down menu. The Rockwell blade performed very well. If you want to kick it up even further, you can go with a feather blade right here, yellow or black package, the feather blade. To make it a little bit more aggressive, the Captain's Choice shaving cream and aftershave also performed very well. Simpson's brush, the Chubby 2. Still enough lather for a few passes if you need to do that. The Shave Nation Ellen Block, always an excellent finish to the shave. If you want any of these items, just click down below the video where it says show more, or go to shavenation.com, enter what you need in the search box, it'll pop right up. Do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe, share my videos with your friends, shaving, and more. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching. Visit shavenation.com for all your shaving supplies. I'm Geo Fat Boy. Have a great shave. Have a great day. Uh oh, looks like I have a four o'clock shadow. Gotta go to shavenation.com. Have a great shave, have a great day.